Hey everyone. So today I thought I would make just a short video showing you how to properly change the engine oil out of a newer Ford Ranger pickup. And I'm talking the new generation, 2019 and up to the current model year, which of course is 2021. The reason why I've decided to do this is because if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're doing this on your Ranger for the first time, you may not know where to find the oil filter, for example, or you may not realize that it could be cleaner to drain the oil if you remove some under, you know, under engine components. And I do this every day, so I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I do it when I'm doing them at work real quick, and more importantly, where the oil filter is, because a lot of people probably wonder, where is the oil filter on these Ranger pickups? So the one that we're going to do today uh, happened to be the last job that I had before the end of the workday, and it's a 2021 Ford Ranger Lariat that we had. It's actually a retired courtesy loaner that we had, so... I had to go ahead, change the oil, rotate tires, and make sure everything else was up to spec. Uh, so that way we can sell it. So this is this Ranger's very first oil change, and uh, I'll show you guys exactly what to do if you want to know how to do an oil change on your Ranger yourself. So obviously the first thing you need to do is get the car off the ground. <laughs> uh, you will have to get the front off the ground because you will have to remove the driver's side tire, and we will get to that when we get to the filter part. So we'll go ahead and start with the actual draining of the oil first. So once you are under the vehicle you're gonna see a small skid plate there with four 15 millimeter bolts and directly above it happens to be the oil drain plug. The easiest thing to do is to remove this shield and that way it'll keep you from making a mess if you try to drain the oil out. It'll get all over the place with the skid, uh, skid plate there. So grab a 15 millimeter socket and you're going to remove the two 15 millimeter bolts that are toward the back side of the shield. And then when you get to the two toward the front, you don't have to remove them completely. Just loosen them up a little bit. And from there, you'll actually be able to slide the skid plate out because those holes on that side of the skid plate are actually open. So the plate will slide away from the bolts, which makes it a lot easier when you're putting it back in also. The drain plug itself is a 15 millimeter. That's pretty self-explanatory. Remove the plug, oil, <laughs> oil drains out. So once you get the drain plug back in and obviously clean up anything that may have, you know, splashed or anything, you can put the skid plate back on. And the easiest way to do it is take the uh, end of the skid plate with the open, the cutaway, you know, holes and slide it underneath the piece that's still attached to the body of the car but you know you want them to slide into the uh, bolts that are there then you're gonna take the other two bolts and just start hand tightening them in grab your ratchet or your impact driver and tighten all the uh, all four of these bolts up you're pretty much done under here after that Now when it comes to the oil filter, you're going to have to remove the front driver's side wheel. It's the easiest way to do it. Then once you're behind the wheel inside, you're going to find four, possibly five, plastic retainers. Some models have five. This one has four. You're going to remove these four retainers using a Phillips screwdriver. So once you start loosening these retainers, once they start coming out from unscrewing them, you'll be able to pull the pin out. And then if you happen to have like uh, one of these little uh, retainer pullers, which makes it easier, you'll just pull the actual retainer part of it out. And then once you're done with that, you could just bend that cover and there's the oil filter. And the reason why you need to do the oil filter here is because you can't get this filter from the top or from the bottom of the engine. It has to be done here through the driver's side wheel well. Now keep in mind, once you start loosening the filter and the oil comes out, the oil is not going to run out directly under this filter. It's got a little trough and it's going to run out a little bit away from this filter. So if you're anticipating on the oil coming straight directly underneath the oil filter, 
it is not. So you might be making a mess. Keep this in mind when you go to loosen your filter. And if you take a look here, that's what the trough looks like. And that is exactly why you can't get to this filter from the bottom. And if you see here, you can't get to it from the top either. So go ahead and spin your new filter on. If you're using Motorcraft parts, it's an FL910 filter. And then after you clean up any oil runoff and such, go ahead and just pop your, your cover back into place and start putting in the little retainers, the, the retainer bottoms. Just start pushing them in through the holes. And then when it comes to the part where you had to unscrew those little pins, you just push the pins in. You don't have to take the screwdriver and push them in. You just really need the screwdriver for them to twist out. But once you're putting them back in, you just push them in. And there you go. They're all locked back into place. Then you want to go ahead and put your wheel back on. And while you're at it, check your air pressure. The air pressure for most of these Rangers is 30 PSI, but just to make sure, double check the door placard on the driver's door sill. Once you safely get your tire back on the ground, the torque spec for these wheels is 100 foot-pounds. Now when it comes to filling, this engine is a 5W30 synthetic blend engine. Uh, synthetic blend is usually what they come with from the factory. You can use full synthetic if you like, but 5W30 is the recommended viscosity. And this engine holds 6.2 quarts of oil, and that's including the filter. So after you've completed your oil change and you've got your engine full of oil, your wheels are torqued, your tire pressure set and whatnot, you want to reset the oil life monitor. And to do that, you're going to use the left diagonal pad of the steering wheel to access the settings menu. So you're going to scroll down till you see settings, hit OK. Hit OK for vehicle and then scroll down to oil life. You're going to hit OK again and then hold OK and that's going to do the reset process. You're going to use that diagonal button on all of these Rangers doesn't necessarily have to be the top of the line cluster as seen here. And that's pretty much it. So start it up, make sure you don't have any oil warnings and whatnot, and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video helped anybody who needed to do their own Ford Ranger oil change 2019 to current with a 2.3 liter four cylinder. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So stay safe out there, work smart, and thanks for watching. Hopefully this, uh, this helped you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.